glad you finally agreed to go out with me. What made you change your mind? I mean, I only asked you like a hundred times. You are persistent. I like that. Why did you want to go on a hike on a first date? I mean, normally people go to a movie or dinner for a date. I like the woods. Actually, I love the woods. It's very peaceful out here, don't you think? Yeah, I guess. I like you, Andy. You're a really nice guy. One of the nicest people I've met. something? Like a race? For walking? They have those, right? Yeah, they have races for walkers, but that's not why I do it every day. It's, it's kind of a long story, and it's not that happy. Well, we're the only two here. If you want to talk about it, I'm all ears. Okay. Uh, just give me a minute to gather myself. eight or nine when he started coming into my room. He told me that if I ever told anyone that no one would believe a stupid kid and then he would really hurt me. I don't remember when he started inviting friends over, maybe 12. But it was around then that I started walking in the woods every day just so I didn't have to go home. I hated the summer because there was no school and no place to hide. It was always worse in the summer. Anyway. It was around then that I started walking every day just so I didn't have to see my dad. One day I walked too far and I got lost and it was starting to get dark out and I was scared that a wild animal would eat me or something or worse, my father would find me. As I started to cry, a shadow appeared over me and when I looked up, I saw him. Him? Him your father? No, Billy. Him. He didn't say a word. He, he didn't have to. He just looked at me with these big, loving eyes, and I knew that I was safe. He was so kind and gentle. He led me out of the woods, and from that day on, I knew that I would always be safe with him. One day when I was out too long, my dad came looking for me. We could hear him coming, he was screaming my name. I was terrified. I looked at my friend and I knew for the first time in a long time that I was gonna be okay. My father burst through the trees and I turned, but my friend was gone. My dad charged me, but he never reached me. My dad was no match for him. My father's friends came looking for him, but they were no match for my friend either. 
It was then that I realized that no one would ever hurt me again. I also understood that he needed to eat. I'm really sorry about this, Andy. I do really like you, but my first love always comes first. 